What is up Flutter devs? In the last video, we implemented triangle drawing in our port of processing to Flutter. And so today we're gonna work on something that's very simple, kind of just one point beyond a triangle, and that is drawing a quad. So let's get into it. Here we have the standard processing specification and I've brought up the definition for the quad procedure. You'll see that it looks very much like the triangle procedure that we worked with last time, except it has four pairs of numbers instead of three. Let's read the description and make sure we understand what we're dealing with here. A quad is a quadrilateral, a four-sided polygon. It is similar to a rectangle, but the angles between its edges are not constrained to 90 degrees. The first pair of parameters, x1, y1, sets the first vertex, and the subsequent pairs should proceed clockwise or counterclockwise around the defined shape. We then see the kind of general definition of the quad call. We see the parameters and it returns nothing. I think we have a pretty clear understanding of what this is. It does mention that you need to pass in all clockwise or all counterclockwise points. We're not going to check for this because this is considered a precondition for the person using this code or using this procedure. If you ever call quad, you are expected to either pass in clockwise or counterclockwise points. If you choose not to do so, if you pass them in in the wrong order, the end result is undefined. Processing can do anything it wants and it's correct because you did not follow the rules. So likewise, we will not validate the input. We will simply draw lines in whatever order the points are offered, then we will close the shape. And if you pass the points in, in such a manner that they're out of order, for example, let's say you pass in the top right, then the top left, then the bottom right, then the bottom left, what you're gonna end up with is some kind of wacky looking hourglass shape thing. And that's on you, you didn't follow the instructions. But as long as you follow the instructions and they're all clockwise or counterclockwise, things will work just fine. As always, let's continue with our usual pattern of implementation. We're going to start by coming into our test suite where we're defining all of these other shapes. In the last video, we defined this triangle test. We're gonna copy this test and adjust it for quad, which is gonna look almost identical. We're gonna change the name of the test to say quad example one. We're gonna change the golden file to be quad example one. Uh, we're going, let me come back here and capture these points because we want to duplicate or replicate the exact condition, uh, the exact setup in the specification. Instead of three points, we want four. And instead of being called triangle, the method is going to be called quad. To match what is in the spec, we want to change the first point to 38 comma 31, the second point to 86 comma 20, the third point to 69 comma 63, and the fourth point to 30 comma 76. This is the test that we want to implement, or this is the test that we want to honor. We want this test to compile and run and give us the same result that's in the spec. Let's go implement a method called quad. Back here in our sketch definition, here is where we defined triangle. Triangle is just a quad minus one point. So if we take triangle and add a point, we will have a quad. I will add uh, P4, an offset called P4 for the fourth point. Here's our path. The path begins at the first point, draws a line to the second point, draws a line to the third point. The difference between a triangle and a quad is one more point. Line to P4 DX, P4 DY, then we close the shape. As mentioned before, if you provide all of the points either in, what, what direction is this for you? Clockwise, I think I got that right, when this reverses, clockwise. No, sorry, it's my, your clockwise is this way. Isn't, I don't know, I can't keep track of this camera being flipped back and forth. If you provide the points in a clockwise or counterclockwise manner, these lines will be drawn around the exterior of the shape and you'll get what you're expecting. If they are not counterclockwise or clockwise, you're gonna get some kind of shape with a weird cross in the middle. Regardless of the path that we want to draw, we uh, paint it with the fill paint 
followed by the stroke paint, and that gives us the result. Let's save this, go back to the test. The red squiggly disappears, which means the test should compile and we should get the result that we're seeking. Let's come down here to the terminal. We will say flutter test update goldens plain name equals quad and let's run it. All tests pass, go to goldens. Here's the new file, open it up and let's compare. Looks pretty good to me. I think we nailed it. So that's quad implemented. We now have circle, rectangle, square, triangle, and quad. Next, we'll move on to maybe a line or point. We still need to do line, point, arc. I don't know, there's one more in there that we need to do as well. We have, I think, four more items in 2D primitives. So we'll continue with that in the next video.